What's going on guys? So today we're talking about some more interesting, unfortunately discontinued SOG multi-tools. All right, this is the Baton series. All right, so I have the Q1, Q2, and Q3, but I'm missing the Q4. The Q4 is very similar to the Q3, uh, just a different configuration. I believe there's a bit holder on the one side as opposed to more, you know, folding uh, tools. But anyway, these are uh, interesting in that they're like kind of pen shaped. Um, this one particularly is a pen <laughs> as well as uh, some other stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and show how these work real quick. So this is the SOG uh, Baton Q1. All right, so on the bottom we have an actual pen and to uh, take the pen tip out, you push this button. All right, so now you can do all your writing that you have to do. To um, bring in that tip or retract it, you just wanna push down on the button. All right, pushing down and automatically swings back with the spring tension. Okay, so just forward to open it or push down to close it. All right, also on the back here, we have a little flathead and bottle opener that opens up, which is very nice. And the big deal here is that this pulls apart and exposes our scissors. All right, so this is kind of like the main tool on here besides the pen is this uh, folding pair of scissors, which is very handy. You know, I know so many people who actually don't care about carrying knives all that much, but really do carry small knives that incorporate scissors, like a lot of Victorinox models. Super, super popular. Um, I have talked to at least two or three people, uh, including like my wife. My wife does carry a knife, but she tends to use little pairs of scissors more than she's using an actual blade. She'd rather just cut things with scissors. It's just easier, it's more controllable, just depends on what we're talking about. Uh, but she does prefer scissors over just an open blade. But anyway, super cool design there. And then of course it all folds up and pushes together. So this would be obviously advantageous to someone who likes to use a pen quite often. You can rotate this up and out, okay, to uh, replace your insert there if you need to, okay, when your pen runs dry. But super cool, so that's the Q1. Then the Q2, a little bit different here, all right? You see we have some like kind of ratcheting gears there. First off, we have the same little um, flathead and bottle opener on the top, all right, which is pretty cool. This one, however, uh, also has a flashlight in the bottom, all right, instead of a pen. You rotate that, and we have a fairly bright flashlight, which is very handy, of course. And this one has a blade. Now, this is kind of interesting. There's a lock right here. You can see a little red, red dot, okay? And what you want to do is push that over to open the handle, okay? So that locks in, so this doesn't accidentally open. When you push that over, it unlocks and this allows you to rotate that down so you can expose the, the blade here, okay? And then use your regular knife blade, which is really cool. So it's a knife blade integrated with a flashlight, but this piece just kind of rotates to cover that edge, essentially. And the whole thing is, of course, pen shaped. And I didn't mention on the first one, but these all have pocket clips, all right? So you can clip these inside the pocket, which is very nice. All right, super cool. And then, of course, the last one here is the biggest and the chunkiest and has the most tools and, you know, accessories and so forth. Still has the pocket clip, as I mentioned. But this one, you can see that we have all these different tools that pull out of the side. All right, so you can uh, have a variety of different things that's in here. All right, on one side, you can see we have a little uh, flathead, very tiny flathead. Let me zoom in, give you a better shot of this. So a little tiny flathead, small enough to probably, you know, undo the screws on your glasses if you need to. We do have a small blade here, all right, that's chisel ground, but it's really just an awl, all right, that's why there's a hole in there. Then we have our Phillips head, and then we have a big old spatula um, chisel, okay? I say spatula because it's pretty wide, but we have a little chisel blade there, which is very nice, pretty unique tool selection. And on the other side, pop all these out. Of course, we have our main blade, we have our file here, all right? We also have the combination uh, bottle opener and flathead. And the last tool on here is the bottle opener, all right? Which is pretty unique. So this has a ton of different tools, but the main tool, when we pull this one apart, is a plier head, okay? And of course, this is evenly distributed on both sides, so it's nice and easy. It is spring-loaded, as you can see. It is very comfortable to use this because we have wider handles here. Now, if I didn't show this before, putting that back in, all these tools do lock. Let me take out our blade here. All right, so these do lock in place, and then you can see simple 
little kind of bulbous area here you push down which pivots and lifts up on the back there so this is kind of like a, a hook and it hooks into little slots in the back of each tool so all the tools do lock very very cool so that is the SOG Q3 so these are three of the four options of course eventually I got to get the fourth one just to complete the, the the little set here so there it is a couple more options unfortunately now discontinued from SOG I just think these things are, are super cool very very different these were available a while back and I just totally um, just forgot to make videos I got them like right away too when I first got these but I just never had a chance to uh, to really test them out and you know make a video but here they are a day late dollar short they're gonna be harder to find now but I did want to let everyone know that they do exist in case you've never seen this before and you think they're super cool you have to start your hunt <laughs> look on eBay you know look at uh, on the forums and stuff all across social media when people buy sell and trade different types of knives and tools um, they are gonna be hard to find and they're probably even more expensive now but they are cool they're very unique very different so I definitely appreciate a uh, unique design so kudos to them so thanks for watching guys hope you have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video take care